Hello, and so for lesson 17, what we need to do is identify all of the ordered pairs that satisfy the function. And so this is not difficult. It's really pretty easy. There are some ways to make simple mistakes, though, and I'll talk about them as they come up. But uh, a calculator will be helpful on this one, so make sure you've got that handy. And basically, it's going to be a bunch, quite a lot of calculator work, I would say. So. Basically, what we need to do is to test to see if an ordered pair like A satisfies the function or not. Uh, we need to put those numbers in and see if it makes a true statement. And so all we're going to do is take our equation, which is 8x minus 2y is equal to 18. And we're going to put negative 10 in for x because that's the x value. And we're going to put 49 in for y because that's the y value. So what we need to do is, and I would encourage you to write each one of these out, because if you try and do it in your head, you're going to make silly mistakes. We're going to put that, we're going to solve that, we're going to figure it out, and we're going to see if it makes a true statement or not. And so here I have negative 80 <clears throat> minus uh, 2 times 49 is um, 98. And the question is, is that equal to 18? Well, 80 minus 98 is negative 178. That is not equal to 18. So A does not satisfy the function. B, uh, again, we do the exact same thing. So 8x minus 2y equals 18. That was A. Here's B. You may need to, a separate piece of paper to do this to get them all down, which is okay. Our x value is 4, so we have 8 times 4 minus 2 times our y value is negative 9. We're going to see if that makes a true statement. So 8 times 4 is 32. Negative 2 times negative 9 is a positive 18. And we're going to see if that equals 18. So 32 plus 18 is 50. 50 is not equal to 18, so that does not satisfy the function. Um, next, we will take a look at C. Again, 8x minus 2y is equal to 18. Our x value is 0, so we'll have 8 times 0 minus 2 times negative 9. And we'll see if that equals 18. So 8 times 0 is 0. Uh, negative 2 times negative 9 is positive 18. And 0 plus 18 is 18. So C does satisfy the function because it makes a true statement. 18 is equal to 18. And so as I mentioned, you may need to do the work for this on a separate sheet of paper or something because you're probably going to run out of room. And so lastly, we've got D. And again, 8x minus 2y equals 18. We are going to put 7 in for our x value, so 8 times 7. And we're going to put 2 in for our y value, so 2 times 4. So 8 times 7 is 56. 2 times 4 is 8. 56 minus 8 is going to be 48 which is not a true statement. So D also does not work. I do believe that for many of these, there will be more than one that does work. It just so happens to be the case in this first one that, <clears throat> none of, that the only one that works is C. So I'll leave this here for a moment. So you can pause and take notes if you need to and that sort of thing. But uh, I'm going to move on to number two. So for number two, <clears throat> Same sort of thing. We're just replacing the y value and the x value with whatever is given in that ordered pair. So for a, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've got y equals negative one third x minus 27. So uh, I need to replace my y value. Uh, so our x value is here and our y value is here. So negative nine is equal to negative one third times negative 24 minus 27. And so again, the calculator is going to be super helpful here, guys. Negative one third times negative 24 is going to be positive eight 
minus 27 and 8 minus 27 is 19, negative 19. So nope, A does not work. One moment, I've got someone knocking at my door. Sorry for the interruption. So back, that was number, that was part A. So on to part B. We've got the same equation, y equals negative one-third x minus 27. Our x value is negative 9, our y value is negative 24. So negative 24 equals negative one-third times negative 9 minus 27. We're going to test and see if this is true. So negative 24, negative one-third times negative 9 is a positive 3 minus 27. And 3 minus 27 is negative 24. So yes, B does satisfy the function. For C, we've got, again, the same equation. Y equals negative 1 third X minus 27. And negative 28 is our Y value. And 3 is our X value. So negative 1 third times 3 minus 27. So negative 28 Negative one third times three is negative one minus 27. Negative 28 equals negative 28. So yep, C also satisfies the function. Let's try D. We have again, Y equals negative one third X minus 27. So negative 32 equals negative one third times 15 minus 27. So negative 32 equals negative one third times 15 is negative five minus 27. And that is negative 32. So negative 32 is equal to 32. And yes, D also satisfies the function. So for that one, it was uh, B, C, and D. I'll put it back here in the frame so you can pause and take notes at this point if you need to. Number three, we have uh, the same situation going on. We just need to take the equation and put those values in there, remembering that our x value comes first and our y value comes second. So for a, we've got 6x minus 3y equals 12. And so putting those values in, 6 times 0 minus 3 times 2 equals 12. So 0 minus 6, that's not going to be 12. Negative 6 is not equal to 12, so not A. Let's try B. 6x minus 3y equals 12. Uh, our x value is 2. y value is 0. And let's see what we get. So 6 times 2 is 12. Minus 0 equals 12. And yes, 12 is equal to 12. So B satisfies the function. For C, we've got 0, 4. So again, 6x minus 3y equals 12. Uh, so we're going to have 6 times 0. Minus 3 times negative 4 equals 12. And so 6 times 0 is 0. Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. And 12 is equal to 12. So yes, C satisfies the function. And for D, again, 6x minus 3y equals 12. So 6 times negative 4 minus 3 times negative 12 equals 12. So we have negative 24. Negative 3 times negative 12 is a positive 36. And so negative 24 plus 36 does make 12. And 12 is equal to 12. So D also satisfies the function. Again, I'll leave this here for a moment. 
So you can pause and take notes if that's something you need to do. And on to number four, we have uh, just the same thing uh, again, more practice of this. So for A, we're going to have 5x plus 8y equals 32. Our x value comes first, our y value comes second. So 5 times 4 plus 8 times 0. Is that going to be equal to 32? I think the answer is going to be no. So 20 plus 0 is equal to 32. And that's not going to be true. 20 is not equal to 32. So again, not A. We'll try B. 5x plus 8y equals 32. So 5 times negative 8 plus 8 times 9 equals 32. So negative 40 plus 72 equals 32, and 32 is equal to 32. So yes, B satisfies the function. We'll try C. 5x plus 8y equals 32. So 5 times 8 plus 8 times 1 equals 32. So we've got 40 plus 8 is equal to 32. This is not going to be true. 48 is not equal to 32. So not C. And D, we've got, again, the same equation. 5x plus 8y equals 32. And so 5 times negative 4 plus 8 times 6.5. Is that going to be equal to 32? So we've got negative 20 plus 52 equals 32. And yes, negative 20 plus 52 is 32. 32 is equal to 32. So D satisfies the function. And so in terms of uh, whoever is subbing in the room and this kind of thing, or if you're just watching this video online, this is probably enough uh, of examples to get a get a group started. And uh, if, if people need more examples, feel free to keep playing this video. I am going to continue and do the rest of the problems on here, but uh, this may be a good time for people to give it a shot on their own. And so for five and six, again, we have more of just the same thing. Uh, we'll test point A. There's our x values, there's our y values. We have y equals negative 10 x plus 9. Uh, y value is 9, negative 10 times negative 10 plus 9. So we're going to see if 9 is equal to negative 10 times negative 10 is 100 plus 9. And it is not, 9 is not the same as 109. So A does not work. B, we've got y equals negative 10 x plus 9. So 9 is equal to negative 10 times 0 plus 9. 9 equals 0 plus 9. And yes, that's going to be true. 9 is equal to 9. So B works. C. We have our equation again. Y equals negative 10x plus 9. Our y value is 0. Negative 10 times negative 10. plus 9. Just making sure I did that right. It took me a second. So we're testing to see if 0 is equal to 100 plus 9. And no, 0 is not equal to 109. So that one's up. Lastly, D. Y equals negative 10x plus 9. Negative 81 equals negative 10 times 9 plus 9. Let's try it. Negative 81 is equal to negative 90 plus 9. Negative 81. And negative 90 plus 9 is negative 81. So, yep, D also works.
to pause for a moment before I go into six. Schlegel's a busy guy today. Okay, and we're back with number six. So, we have y equals 7x minus 9. So, y equals 7x minus 9. Our x value, our y value. Let's throw them in there and see what happens. 9 equals 7 times 0 minus 9. So we've got 9 equals 0 minus 9, which is going to be 9 equals negative 9, and that is not true. So not A. B. We have y equals 7x minus 9. Our y value is negative 9. Our x value is 7. So negative 9 equals 49 minus 9. And negative 9 is not equal to 40. So not B. We'll try C and D. So C. Y equals 7x minus 9. And so we've got negative 23 equals 7 times negative 2 minus 9. Negative 23 is equal to negative 14. Oops. Minus 9. Negative 23 is equal to negative 23. So, yep. C satisfies the function. And D. Again, Y equals 7X minus 9. 5 equals 7 times 2 minus 9. 5 equals 14 minus 9. And, yep, 5 is equal to 5. So D does satisfy the function. That's going to be it for this video. I'll be back with 7 through 12, and I'll basically be doing these in sets of 6 to kind of keep the videos down in terms of the total amount of time.